starting this morning's um, excursion to sites, coastal sites in uh, this central to western part of, of uh, Cork at uh, Kilbritton. Uh, the signpost just behind me here shows our location at the bridge uh, just to the south of Kilbritton village. And here um, you can see the southern end, the coastal end of um, an incised valley that cuts down through these quartzite and sandstone ridges um, of the old red sandstone, as it's known, um, more commonly the name of these rocks in this part of the world, um, now formerly known as the West Cork Sandstone Series, and formerly a uh, glacial outwash, the glaciers melted, um, water cut down through these sandstone ridges, created incised valleys here, over deepened valleys of earlier drainage courses, um, exited across this part of the world out on the into the, the intertidal areas of the present day, but out onto the um, uh, the relatively flat um, seabed areas of, of the offshore zone. So this valley um, is essentially a glacial outwash valley. Um, the water cutting down, incising, <laughs> over deepening, as I said, uh, an earlier tertiary valley system. Um, as a result, we can see not only the shape of um, essentially a, a glacially modified valley, possibly ice coming down through here originally, and then as the ice melted back, uh, the shape has been modified by that uh, glacial meltwater cutting. Um, as the ice melted back, then also sediments were released from that ice melt, and to my left, just behind the grey house, we can see in the far distance, um, is the Came Terrace, um, an outwash terrace of glacial sands and gravels left by that uh, retreating ice um, at the margin of the, um, of the valley. You can just see the bench um, lifting up behind the top of the, uh, the building in the, in the middle distance. So those sorts of features which perhaps don't really attract, they're not spectacular. Uh, this angle perhaps is went up to it, you'd see much more clearly the type of benching of these features called cane terraces, which are typical of this part of the world. In fact, the name comes from uh, Irish, um, the cane, um, and uh, this, as I said, this is a very common feature in these sorts of valleys around this part of Cork. One of the other reasons for stopping at this location is because it does demonstrate not only the context of these small incised estuary sites typical of this part of the world, um, but it also demonstrates the issue to do with um, the significance of that glaciation in the relatively recent past, geologically recent past, uh, within the last 20 or so thousand years, in which um, the ice as it's melted, of course, has released a large amount of sediment to the coastline and into the offshore zone. Um, and some of those sediments are stored beneath us in this particular location and provide the basis for the marshes, which you can see behind me, and uh, at other sites along the coast here. So the significance of the ice uh, is not only in terms of the shape, the existing present-day shape of these valleys, but it's also in terms of the supply of sediment um, as storage into these uh, small coastal estuary areas. And of course the sediment has been redistributed further out into the immediate offshore zone and out onto the continental shelf as well, which as I said has been affected by these much earlier um, tertiary valleys, um, um, glacial valleys, but the, the, the river valleys of the tertiary have been modified by the, the later glaciations. Um, so these sorts of waterways then uh, are important in that sense, one, morpho morphologically, uh, two, uh, in terms of the ice then, the supply of sediment, um, and essentially the, the shape of the landscape in the present day.